These were sounds none of us thought we'd be hearing on October 10th. The Braves were four outs away from securing the NLDS back in game four, yet their season ended essentially in the first inning of game five yesterday. Not a situation this coaching staff talked about in their pregame planning meetings. I don't know that anybody saw that coming. And that thing was just, you know, it happened so quick, there was nothing we could do. I don't think anything we did with our roster, anything we did with our rotation was wrong. It was a great series, <clears throat> um, every game. Um, and yesterday was, uh, 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 I don't know, something I've never experienced before. And I don't know that you, you, you can't even go in planning that. The percentile outcome of that occurring obviously is beyond low. Um, so for me, I look back to the first four games, right? And that's where, but SNP put us in a position to win a lot of those games. Hindsight is 2020, and there are lots of what ifs the Braves lost left in its wake. It happens, and that's not an excuse. It doesn't feel good. We're not glad that, that we're here, but things lined up um, the way we wanted it to. It just, you know, it, it doesn't always work out. Both Anthopolis and Snickers said that this year's NLDS loss is even worse than last year's against the Dodgers because they thought that this year they had that more complete team. But Snickers said the team attacked last offseason really well after that loss, so he has hope for 2020. By the way, spring training starts February 22nd. From SunTrust Park, Kelly Price, Fox 5 Sports.